Hey y'all, Billy from Permapastures Farm. Here we are, your latest update in the chicken tractor on steroid system. All right, look here. This is the first pile we started with. Now it's at this point that we now start producing one and a half cubic yards per week of finished compost. Now folks, if I were to take you up there to the 18 day compost we did before and I were to take you to this, honestly, the shredding that goes on in here, it's part of what Jeff Lawton actually pointed out when he first did this, is that the chickens do a, a shredding in this thing that is just unimaginable because they just work on it longer and they gotta get the biota out of it. Now, anybody just coming into this and you're just seeing this video for the first time, you're probably gonna be very, very confused. So you need to go back, I think it's over this shoulder, you need to go back and watch the first, the very first uh, video we did in this series in the chicken tractor on steroids because there's so much going on, but it is without a doubt, the best chicken, in my opinion, the best chicken and compost producing system on the planet and almost nobody's doing it. In fact, I only know of one person. Uh, he's a su subscriber on Patreon and also here in YouTube. He's the only person that I'm aware of that is actually doing his version of it. So it warms my heart to know that that's happening. But folks, as these food prices rise, this here, is gonna be, well, this is gonna be a system that I think more people are gonna be attracted in. So we're gonna go through the normal thing today. Now, we're gonna show you the difference in how everything goes. Now, this poultry netting that you see here, we're gonna flip it up. Now, we still got one more flip on this to do and then it's done, we can use it. We're gonna take this net and then we're gonna put it right here and everything else is gonna keep going down the hill. That's the beauty of this system. It keeps moving through the landscape. Now you gotta ask yourself, what am I gonna do with this? Um, there's a bunch of things you can do with it. I could spread it out right here in the ground and make an instant garden. I could, um, I don't need to tell you all the different uses you can have for this, but that's essentially it. We're gonna flip this stuff and then if I'm not gonna use it immediately, we'll take a blue tarp and cover it up. If I got a plan for it, we'll go ahead and use it, which this time of year, believe me, we got plans for it. So we'll just kind of figure that part out later, but we'll go ahead and move this net down to here flip all the other piles, and everything we did before the previous weeks, we're gonna do it all over again, nothing different. All right, now that everything is moved, basically we slinkied this net all down the hill, we done moved the chicken tractor down, we're gonna go through everything we normally do. This cage is gonna disassemble. We're gonna reassemble it right here in front of the chicken tractor. What's in that cage is gonna turn downhill. All the other previous piles are gonna turn downhill. Remember, it's just one day a week where it's all your, it's most of your work. Throughout the week, the chickens are doing 90% of it. Okay, with that said, we got a lot to do today. We're gonna to get on it. So the other piles are flipped. Chickens are still in there. Now the only difference is we're gonna flip, normally you wanna flip everything downhill. It just makes life easy for you. But this is the price of living up in these hills, these mountains, is that you gotta make exceptions. This one has to go uphill in this case because of all the weird topography that we can't really show you inside there. But yeah, we've done it on flat ground. We've done it for a long time on flat ground and it's a whole lot easier. So just keep that in mind also. But this one here, our finished pile, 
we're gonna turn it uphill and I'm holding a tarp and some tent spikes. So we're gonna give it a little bit of water, flip it uphill because we don't, I thought we were gonna have some immediate use for it. We don't just yet. So when you can't use it immediately, we're just gonna treat it like you would to some extent, like an 18 day pile. We're gonna flip it uphill, put a little moisture in it, cover it up. And then when we feel like it, we'll come back to it. Last time we did this, we had, I don't even know how many blue tarps. And then as the weeks come out, you can combine them. You can refine this stuff. Where do you see how refined this stuff is already? You can refine this stuff even more by adding more flips to it. And uh, sometimes we do that where we'll take one pile and another pile. When they're on the outside of the cage, we'll flip them together, then cover it up. But right now, Michelle's down there getting the water squared away. She's gonna get up here, wet this ground, just like you normally do. Wet the ground, we'll flip the pile into it, and then we'll pick it up. All right, here we go. We're gonna let these guys out. We don't have any food in the cage, right? And we're gonna see where they go, see where they prefer to go. They might stop at the cage, but they won't stay long. This is what they do, y'all. This is this is your pile. Look how unrefined it is. You know what? These guys are gonna work this thing over. There's food scraps in here they haven't yet gotten to. They're just excited. They got out of there. They're gonna eat the protein cores first. But by the day's end, they will lay waste to every single one of these compost piles. All right, y'all, there you have it. So it's really that simple. Look at the various stages of becoming compost there. I'm not gonna kid you, it does require a fair amount of work. The biggest of it is just one day a week where you flip all these piles. Outside of that, the chickens are doing 90% of it. Once again, I wanna also remind you that we do have an 18 day compost method. It's called the Berkeley method. We didn't invent it. Um, but it all comes down to what you prefer in that hot, 18 day method, you're gonna put your hands on it potentially up to nine times. This one, you flip it four times and the chickens do all the work. And I think, personally, I think it's a higher quality compost. Um, plus you're fattening up your birds. Now you could run this, cause people have asked, you can run this system indefinitely. If you have a spot where you wanna just have them do laps, you can do that. You wanna go down one lane, come back up another, you want to run them in between orchard rows. We've done that before too. And it was astonishing what happened. Back then we didn't have a YouTube channel. But folks, there is so many different applications you can do and variations you can make within this system. You can run your meat birds, as long as they're not corners cross. You can run dual purpose. You could probably even run layers. And as far as the magic spot, having done this for years now, honestly, within this system, I got 40 birds. Ideally, if I had 60, I'm reasonably sure that this thing would sing like, it already does. But I think honestly, 60 birds is the magic number within the system we have right now. So folks, give it a shot, try it. And remember in these times, this is the most consequential food and compost producing system on the planet, bar none. I don't know of anything better. So if you have a group of people, maybe you can't do it by yourself, forward it up, maybe give this a shot. It's gonna save you a ton on feed costs. So anyway, folks, I hope this stuff helps. 
Wow, got one and a half cubic yards of compost and we're about to have more every single week from here on out. So folks, I'm excited. And you should be too, because this stuff is not that hard to do. So until next time, this is Billy, the Permaculture Pimp Daddy, where pimp stands for permaculture is my passion. See the reasons why? We'll see you next time.